Okay, this is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra in the flesh. Or should I say, in Phantom Black. Thank you to Samsung Ghana for sending this out for me to check out. And this is currently the top of the line Samsung mobile device that is on the market right now. And since this is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, in today's video, I'm going to share with you 22 tips, tricks, or settings that you should definitely be looking out for if you decide to pick up the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Without taking much of your time, let's get to the video. Okay, so the first tip has to do with the animation on this guy. The Snapdragon 8 Gen or the Exynos variant, depending on where you're getting it, is no slouch, but there's always a way to make the animation look faster and snappier. To do this, head to your settings, scroll down to the bottom, go to the about phone, head to the software information, tap on the build number continuously until it says developer mode activated. Then head back, go to the developer options. Here, you can actually find Windows Animation, Transition Animation, Animator, change all these to 0.5. And you are definitely going to see a difference when it comes to the animation on this guy. It's way, way faster now. The next couple of tips is definitely going to be about the S Pen. After all, this is the first time Samsung has actually put an S Pen in any of the S series. So, we have to talk about it. The first one has to do with the fact that drawing and taking notes on this has never felt better. This is due to the low latency speed of about 0.2. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has a real to lifelike experience when it comes to taking notes as Samsung was able to implement a technology that is able to reduce the latency when it comes to writing to about 0.2 milliseconds as compared to the previous iteration which was about 0.9. And trust me, this is so fast. It actually uses AI to predict where your S Pen is heading. It makes writing on this and the haptic feedback that you get when writing on this feel so natural. I really, really like it. The next tip has to do with handwriting to text. With the S Pen, you can easily convert your handwritten text to typed text, and this is so cool. To do this whilst taking notes, make sure the little icon below that has the text on the S Pen has been toggled on. And just like that, anytime that you scribble something on your screen, this is going to be converted into a typed text. Works really well, but sometimes it misses here and there, but either way, it is still cool. The next tip also has to do with the S Pen. This is going to allow you to long press on the button that comes with the S Pen, and this is going to open your camera application and you can easily take your selfies right from here. This is the default setting that comes with the S Pen and anytime that you pull it out of your device and long press on the button that comes on the S Pen, this is going to open the camera application and from there you can take all your amazing selfies just like that. In the settings, you can customize this. I'm going to show you how to do this later on in the video. The next one is Smart Select for screenshots. Using the S Pen, you can take better screenshots by using the Smart Select feature found in the Air Command. To do this, open your Air Command and select the Smart Select toggle and just like that, you can select a portion of your screen just to take a screenshot. Using this S Pen has been one of the best experience ever. Next, you can also translate text using your S Pen. Let me show you how. You can also use your S Pen to translate text by just hovering on the text, like this. By using your Air Command, turn on the Translate feature and anytime you want to translate a text, just hover on the text and the S Pen is going to help you translate it. That's simple. Who doesn't like that? The next step is using Air View to get more information about things on your screen. So without having to tap the things on your screen, you can actually just use your S Pen to hover on items like links, images and this is actually going to give you more information. To set this up, open the air command, go to the settings, then scroll down to air view and turn it on. Once you turn it on, anytime that you hover upon a text, a link, an image, this is going to expand and it's going to give you a preview of what that link or image or whatever is about. The next step has to do with taking notes on your lock screen. This I guess is one of the best or the reason why a lot of people like note devices as you can just take out your S Pen and without even unlocking your device, you can just scribble on the screen and write whatever you want, save whatever notes you want right from the lock screen. That is great. 
So for tip number nine, you can actually use your S Pen to Harry Potter your way through the device. Using air gestures, you can actually use your S Pen to control your device, navigation, controlling music, skipping forward and back and a whole lot. That is also a really cool feature of the S Pen. Just don't find yourself in public just throwing around your S Pen as that actually looks really silly, but it is what it is. <laughs> For tip number 10, if you're not a fan of the air command always popping up anytime that you pull out your S Pen, this is how to get rid of it. Go to the air command settings, scroll down to when S Pen is removed, do as you wish and from there you can actually customize what you want your device to do anytime that you pull out your S Pen. For tip number 11 which is the last S Pen tip, this has to do with the fact that if you're afraid of losing your S Pen, maybe you were writing it, you left it on the couch or you left it on the bench or anything like that, there is a way to get a notification anytime you leave your S Pen behind. Let me show you how. If you're afraid of losing your S Pen, go to the settings, scroll down to when S Pen is left behind and turn on the settings that says warn me when S Pen is left behind. And just like that, anytime that you leave your S Pen behind, your device is going to give you a notification to let you know your S Pen is not in your device. So go back and pick it up. For tip number 12, this has to do with the cameras. We know that Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has some amazing cameras, right? But there's always something you can do to get the absolute best when it comes to pictures from this guy. If you know anything about raw pictures and the advantages it gives you when it comes to editing, then this is for you. Use Expert Raw app from the Samsung store for better editing and all the advantages that comes with raw pictures. This is absolutely free. Go to the Galaxy store and download the Expert Raw application and this is going to give you all the advantages that comes with editing raw pictures. Also in the camera editing tool, you can clean up your pictures by basically using the camera eraser tool. To do this, open the native editing app, click on the three dots, hit the object eraser, clean anything you want from the pictures as simple as that. You can also remaster pictures that you take with this device using the native picture editing tool with AI. This is for those who don't like editing their own pictures and want to give AI a chance. Just use the remaster feature which is going to give you some exciting high resolution edits from the pictures that you take with this guy. Some look really cool, some look over sharpened for me so I don't necessarily use it so much but if you're somebody that wants to try this out, this is also available. The next has to do with using Samsung DeX wirelessly. One thing I love on Samsung devices is the DeX. And you can use it on this too. Connect your phone to an external display and use it as a computer and you can do this wirelessly. All you have to do is to scroll down the notification shade and tap on the DeX and just like that this is going to help you connect to any external displays that are available to you and you can use your phone as a computer on these external displays. This is actually a really quick and smart way to get things done, transferring images and files and that is really cool. Samsung DeX is really cool and it comes from the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra too. For tip number 16, if you decide to try Samsung DeX out, you can actually use your device as a trackpad, a very good one too. Once you connect your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra to an external display, you can actually use the screen of your device as a touchpad and with this you can actually control your device and also connect external keyboards or mouse but you can just use this as a trackpad and that is the fastest way to go. For tip number 17 is the mini pop-up for call notifications. Imagine enjoying your content and someone decides to call you to distract everything. This can be stopped by just using a mini pop-up notification to do this. All you have to do is to go to the call setting application, head to the three dots, then scroll down and select mini pop-up. Once this is set up, anytime that a call comes through when you're using your device, the notification is going to appear on the top as a very, very small icon and it's not going to distract anything you have going on on your device. For tip number 18 has to do with the amazing screen that Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has. This has a peak brightness of about 1750 and there's actually a button in the settings that's actually going to boost this. Let me show you how to turn this on. Anytime you have the manual settings on for increasing the brightness of your screen, this actually enables the extra brightness tab which is found in the settings. Anytime you turn this on, your screen is actually going to get way brighter. So it's actually going to combat any bright lights that is falling on your screen. So if you find yourself outside and you increase your screen brightness to the max, 
and you still find it difficult to see what's on the screen, which is probably never going to be a case, head into your settings, go to the display settings and turn on the extra brightness tab. And this is going to make your screen look way brighter. And trust me, it's really bright, but this is going to take a toll on your battery. So take note of that anytime you decide to turn this on. For tip number 19, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has some amazing charging speeds. You can actually purchase the 45 watt charger that come with this. And with that, you can actually slash your charging speed to about an hour. I haven't gotten the chance to try that yet. I only have the 25 watt charger, which I purchased from the previous Samsung device that I own. So if you ever want to have amazing charging speed, make sure you purchase the 45 watt Samsung charger. And that is actually going to give you one of the fastest charging speed on your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. For tip number 20 is the ability to take some amazing low light pictures using Samsung new sensors. So Samsung calls this nightography and with this you are able to take some amazing night mode pictures that has amazing details, brightness, contrast and everything in the right proportion. I'm not going to go so deep into this as I'm going to do a dedicated camera test for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If I've already done it, I'm going to link it above. If I haven't, look out for the video because it will be coming very soon. For tip number 21, just like the previous S21 Ultra, when you're able to take a hundred times zoomed pictures, this actually has taken it to the max. The pictures actually come with a lot of details now and don't look as bad as the previous iteration was. So to take some amazing long distance pictures, which is Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, use the hundred times zoom capability found on this device. For tip number 22, which is the absolute most important one of all, is make sure you buy a case for this guy. Trust me, this feels really premium, but at the same time, it's really scary to use anytime you don't have a case on. I know this has the Corning Gorilla Glass on the front and back, but trust me, it is still glass. Anytime I'm using it outside, I get really scared because I'm afraid of dropping this. I don't have a case yet, but if you decide to pick one of these up, definitely pick up a case for this. So this brings me to the end of today's video. That was a really, really vast list of things you should definitely check out when you decide to pick up the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you have any questions, tips, anything you want me to check out about this device or anything you want me to answer in the upcoming full review, leave it in the comment section as I'm going to definitely do a comprehensive review of this guy. Thank you for spending time with me. If you're new to this channel, of course, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you get notified the next time I upload a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.